Welcome to Chat Chow TV, an online weekly show interviewing the personalities behind the food scene. On today's episode, we'll be speaking with Matthew Sherman, Juice Sommelier of Hugo Fresh. Let's step inside. What you have there is our Daterade. Daterade. We have a four stage uh, alkaline water filter in the back. And then we mix that with dates, which is a nice natural sweetness, low glycemic. And then we put some essential salts and minerals, kind of mimicking the electrolytes that you would get in a Gatorade, Got which is why we call it Gatorade. Gatorade. What are you drinking? <laughs> uh, I am drinking our green Montagna, which is one of my favorite green juices. Those greens can be a little bit bitter. It's got a little bit of ginger, a little bit of lime, and a little touch of pear in there to cut through the char, the kale, and the leafy greens. Really delicious, clean tasting, great energy, but easy to drink as well. Now, what's your background? Because you've got a lot of Spanish uh, connotations in these names. Green Montaña and uh, yeah. Nuestro Estilo. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot, of my, a lot of my passion for food came from my time in Spain. Uh, I was living in Barcelona and the energy around food and uh, how it was such a big part of the, the lifestyle, you know, was a big influence. But my personal background is I'm Hungarian and German, so... And what about as far as, how did you get into food? I'm a holistic health coach and a sport and exercise psychology consultant. So that's how I got into leading people on juice cleanses. I also spent some time in Hawaii doing uh, raw foods for a cancer treatment facility. So that's where I learned about this style of juicing to help people really heal their body and create different lifestyle changes. What makes your style different? And well, we use a special process called cold pressing. A regular juicer, like say a centrifugal that you can get from any juice place, pushes air and heat into the process. We use a special form that does it. So air and heat are the two things that break down live enzymes. Because we use a special process that's two stages where you first break down the, the cell walls of every piece of it. So anything has a cell wall. Right. You break that down and then you put that into a second stage that presses it out. Five times as many nutrients, also not pushing air and heat into it so it stays alive and nutrient dense. So you've got different things though. Aside from juices, you have juices, you have boosters, you also have cleanses. Let's talk about each of those. So what do you offer as far as, what are boosters? Is this a booster? So this is from our shot section and this is called Sakalo. This is really designed for... Sakalo. Yeah, Sakalo, get it all out. All right, you know? okay. Uh -oh. So <laughs> if, this is really made for like if you're on an airplane next to somebody and they've got the sniffles or you're in a movie theater and somebody's sick or you're around your kids and they're not feeling well and you don't want it, this is what you come in to drink, the Sakalo. Okay. It's got ginger, cayenne, oregano oil, echinacea extract, lemon, lime. So it's really just a quick flush, but it's also an anti-fog. So if you're ever hungover, if you do have one of those nights... Never heard of that. Then this is a great thing to drink to get your blood moving and to get things cleared up so you can think at a more high pace. Now you also have cleanses. What type of cleanses? Look, like what is the average, for somebody who has no idea, who's never cleansed before, what is the average amount of days that somebody would start with? What would you normally recommend? I mean, three days is minimum to start to okay. really feel light and get a reconnection to your digestive system. Okay. But, you know, if yogis believe one day a week is the perfect way to do it. So it really depends on your personality, what you're ready for. Right. You know, it's kind of you start from where you are and you go from there. If you're only ready for one day, if you're feeling intimidated by three days, then by all means one day is, is a good start. Right. But I think three days is, is generally my suggestion. Okay, now what do you do when you're done juicing and you've done 64 days of this? I mean, how do you get back into your regular routine? I feel like it would just all come back on. Exactly. It's like using any muscle in your body. So say, you know, you have a shoulder injury and you're a pitcher in Major League Baseball right. and you've been resting your shoulder now for three, four weeks and you come back, you're not going to pitch as hard as you would normally pitch. Right. You're going to do things slowly. Same thing for your digestive system you're gonna to wanna to come back slowly, and that means eating things with similar water contents, like cucumber, tomato digest pretty quickly, so you're gonna to wanna to eat something like that, whereas rice is gonna digest much slower, so you don't wanna eat it with something that digests fast, which would be overworking your digestive system. Now, have you ever done, and I know this is kinda of weird, because it has to do with alcohol, but have you ever like juiced a tomato to have like a really fresh Bloody Mary? Yeah, we do cocktail parties all the time. Do you? When I first started this, I started this out of my home, and a lot of, uh, our business was from people wanting to do really nice cocktail parties. We do an amazing pineapple pear juice 
that we then flush out with a little bit of ginger at the end pairs really nicely with vodka. Nice. So can pe- you like set up these parties or people come to you to get recommendations or what? People come to us and they'll either buy the juice, juice. itself okay. and, or we do parties ourselves. Recently you've branched out to food. Let's yes. talk about some of the food items on the menu. What do you got? My, uh, one of my favorite things that we do is our kale ceviche. I love big bright flavors, especially here in this Miami heat. So you've got uh, kale that we marinate with lime and lemon, just mimicking like you would do a normal ceviche. Right. But then we finish it with an avocado crema, some uh, chopped cherry tomatoes, a little bit of coconut meat that we pickle with red onions and jalapenos to mimic that sort of fish consistency, but give it some real heartiness to it. What else you got? We have a watermelon salad, which for this weather is also yes. really clean, it's hot. easy to eat. It's so hot outside. It's like I, for me, I just want things that are easy, light, clean tasting, and that's one of those things. So we take uh, these local homestead sugar baby watermelons, mm. and we dice those, finish it with some cucumbers, some heirloom tomatoes, and a jalapeno vinaigrette, and then we chop some basil on, pickle the watermelon rind for a little bit of texture, and it's really just light, clean, delicious. Sounds delicious. So I'm gonna try this um, crazy shot here. I know you were warning me earlier. Is it really uh, It's hot? pretty spicy. Is it spicy? But if you like spicy, I do like then spicy. You'll love it. So did I just chuck it like but a shot? Don't get mad at me if it's really spicy. Really? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Holy moly! <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> I could light something on fire. <laughs> Sácalo. <laughs>